Good morning, Cardinals. Happy Thursday to everyone. Hope and pray you had a blessed evening. A couple of announcements before we begin our daily prayer. A happy, happy birthday going out to Avery Trujillo. Happy birthday. Hope and pray you have a blessed day. As you see Avery throughout the day, please wish her a happy birthday. Also, students, today is Mass Day, so hopefully everybody's had an opportunity to um, manage to get all their Mass uniforms and their Mass uniform dress. And let's please continue to do that, to do that over the course of this um, school year. And in the meantime, students, a couple of things before you go to Mass. Please make sure that you're presentable before you enter the church, meaning that your shirts are tucked in, your shoes are tied. When you do enter the church, please make sure to recognize that it is holy. It is holy. It is a holy place, right? So make sure that you take time to kneel all the way down, touch your knee, take the time to genuflect and bless yourself. It is not a race. Also take the time once you've entered the pew and take your seat to put down the kneeler and take time to uh, kneel and pray to God, asking to open up your heart and your mind to the message for today and to receive him for those of us that have the sacrament of communion to prepare our hearts to receive him into ourselves and then also please be mindful of remaining attentive thank you so much students you've done great the last couple of weeks and then also any questions that father may ask please take the time to answer his questions by raising your hand and, and engaging in those questions with father and you guys have been doing great so please just keep up the good work there also, please, during the course of Mass, when we put down the kneelers and put the kneelers back up, please be very careful with that by placing them down. Do not drop them. I've noticed that it's gotten a little bit loud during Mass where too many of the kneelers are being dropped. But at the end of the day, please make sure you're safe as well, okay? So um, make sure you don't stand on the kneelers either. So don't just leave them down the whole Mass and stand on them because you start to mess up the material. So just a couple of things to be mindful of. Uh, last thing is, if you wear, are wearing a cardinal jacket, once you do arrive to Mass and you get into your pew, you are expected to take off your jacket. The only uh, jackets that can be worn is the cardigan or the sweater, the Mass sweater, uh, on Thursday. So just be mindful of that too, Cardinals, okay? Uh, but in the meantime, thank you so much. What a blessing to be at Mass together and what an opportunity for us to celebrate the, the, the Mass uh, with Father Vincent and give honor to God and to be able to learn more about our Savior. If everyone could please take a moment to put themselves in a place of prayer as we listen to today's reading. <clears throat> in Jesus' time, a doorkeeper was similar to a guard at a gate. This person would keep watch and open and close the door for visitors. Doorkeepers had to stay alert as they guarded the entrance. In today's Gospel reading, we are reminded that we don't know when we will go to God. So we must live each day by loving God, our neighbor, and ourselves. Jesus tells us that we must be ready and prepared to meet Him when He comes again. <clears throat> In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said, But about that, uh, about that day or hour no one knows, neither the angels in heaven nor the Son, but only the Father. Beware, keep alert, for you do not know when the time will come. It is like a man going on a journey, when he leaves his home and puts his slaves in charge, each with his work, and commands the doorkeeper to be on watch. Therefore keep awake. For you do not know when the master of the house will come, in the evening, or at midnight, or at cock crow, or at dawn, or else he may find you asleep when he comes suddenly. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So brothers and sisters, as we started out the week, we were talking about parables, right? Stories that have a meaning. There's a moral to the story. Today, Jesus talks about recognizing yet that he's speaking in another parable well what does that mean to us cardinals it is that our spirit our soul right needs to remain awake it needs to be always ready to answer the call that god has right whether it be in the moment to be a blessing to others whether it be in the moment to actually ascend into heaven right to to make our way into heaven but nonetheless brothers and sisters that's what we're being asked to do is to make sure that we are 
uh, a people that recognizes that God dwells within us, that Christ dwells within us, and that we are called to constantly be open to answering the call and being ready to answer to the Spirit by way of being a blessing, to be kind, to serve, um, to look out for our brothers and sisters in Christ, to be a good steward, and just to constantly be awake, be alert, right? And so, Cardinals, I pray that all of us continue to do just that, to be a blessing and to wake up each and every single day and recognize that we've been blessed by, by, for, with another day from God. And one of the best ways to honor God and to love God is to give all of ourselves in that day back to Him, right? So thank you, Cardinals, for your awareness of being conscious of your, your spiritual journey to receiving and opening your day up with God each and every single day and especially with each new day that we're given, that since we've been abundantly blessed, right, that we take the time to be a blessing to others in all things that we do. So thank you again, Cardinals, and I appreciate you, and I look forward to a wonderful day. It's been a wonderful week, and I pray that you have a blessed day. If you could please take a moment now to stand and face the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. God bless America and God bless our world. Hope and pray you have a blessed day. God bless. We're gonna go over the SLEs. Alrighty, a good Catholic student prays daily, knows and understands our faith, demonstrates a spirit of service. A lifelong learner thinks critically, develops skills and knowledge, and participates in the arts. A good person of moral character accepts accountability for our actions, respects school, peers, and adults, and acts as a good steward of the earth. Alrighty, have a great day!